Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I want to show you how to create folding doors in ArchiCAD. Folding doors are a versatile and space efficient solution in architectural design, seamlessly merging indoor and outdoor spaces while optimizing floor plans. These doors, also known as default or according doors, consist of multiple panels that fold and stack against one another when opened. In ArchiCAD, creating a design with folding doors involves a careful understanding of their dynamic nature and the flexibility they bring to spatial configurations. Utilizing ArchiCAD's intuitive tools, you can easily model folding doors, specifying their dimensions, materials, and operational parameters. Consider incorporating these dynamic elements into your designs to enhance the fluidity of spaces, provide a sense of openness, and create a seamless connection between the interior and exterior environments. So let's come and see together how we can create a folded door in ArchiCAD. Alright guys, here we are in ArchiCAD. Our first step will be changing the parameters of the ArchiCAD. Let's change this millimeter to centimeter and let's click OK. Now, for this tutorial at the very first, we are going to create a simple wall in order to be a host for our folding doors. After deciding the wall thickness, I'm just going to create a simple wall. And after that, I'm going to create a slab so our walls won't fly. It's going to be a simple rectangle. Let's start from here and click here. In the 3D window, we have this. To create doors, of course, we are going to click this door tool. And before placing it, we are going to change its settings. You will see some folders left of the window. Of course, as you can guess, we are going to click sliding folding doors. From the right of the window, here we can see a preview plan. Let's go to floor plan, click the outside of the building and create our first door. As you can see, we have already placed our detailed folding door. With the help of this purple knot, we can easily close and open. Now, after closing this, as you can see, it's flying a little. Let's fix it from here. We are going to input here zero. Alright, let's go to settings and look at what we have. Let's hit Ctrl plus T. Here we can see lots of options, including door leaf style. Let's try this style 6. Click OK. These opening lines are annoying me. In order to fix it, we are going to use model wheel options. By clicking this icon, we can reach the model wheel options under the miscellaneous settings we can disable the opening lines. Let's click these icons and click OK. Here you can see 5 different panels. You can change the number of the panels. In ArchiCAD it's called leaves and we can change the numbers from here. We can change the left side and right side differently. Now here we can see 7 panels. You can input their even higher values. Let's input here 8 and try. It's too dense, so to see it better, I'm going to change the width. This door type is very useful. You can just set this up for the most kind of zones. Just like this. By changing this, you can add more realism into your scenes. Alright, let's make them equal and see what we have. Here you can see we have 8 and we have 3. I'm gonna input same value. Is totally customizable. We can just assign different leaf styles for each kind of different leaf parts. Alright, now after doing this, we are going to place a railing under the sliding door. Let's hit Ctrl plus T and move forward and under the fixtures and fittings, we will activate this railing. Now here we can see the railing under the sliding door. Alright, let's continue forward and look at what we have. We have seen the default door. For this sliding folding multi-panel door, we are able to change this middle stacking settings. In order to change the detail level of the door, here we have detail level options. 
Next of the 3D detail level, we can choose full or by model view options. Model view options are the global settings which can change all of your door and window settings. Let's try how to change it. This is going to be by model view options and from the under of the window, we will click this icon and under the detail level of the window, yeah, this one, we are able to change the window section elevation settings. Let's click OK. Nothing happened because we also need to change the detail level of the doors. From here, we will see completely flat surface panel in the 3D window and it's very easy to change with one click. Let's go back for the, all of the settings to default values and see our original windows and doors. Alright, this was how to create folding doors. We can also place sliding doors but its options are a little different. I'm gonna show you how they are. Therefore, we are going to place a simple sliding door. You can see the, what kind of type they are. For the most of the stations, I use this kind of sliding door. Let's click OK and see what it is. I said its options are a little different. Which is here, opening type. We need to choose from this list. If you click one of these, you can see the preview at the floor plan preview. This is mostly all of the settings are the same. If we change these pages, we can see what they are. I'm gonna leave them as default and let's click OK and see what we have. Here you can open the sliding door as we did in the folding door. And here I'm going to show you the tip of the day. If you want to add more than 4 panels, unfortunately we have to do a workaround. In order to do that, we are just going to duplicate that door and after that we will change a couple of options. We will change the frame width to a very low values and after that this uniform frame width must be checked on and this value leaf thickness will be minimum value. Once we have done that, we are going to disable the outer frames, casing outside and casing inside. There we go. Let's go back and let's change the opening type of the door. It was in the, I think this door settings and opening, opening type. Let's make this and click OK. Since we have changed the opening type, our border frames resetted, so we will fix once again. From the under of the frame and leaf page, as we did before, we are going to input here 5, and here in the 3D window, it looks way more elegant. And from the our floor plan, the schematic plan, schematic cut, not too bad for this kind of workaround. Now, I am going to show you the third method of creating folded door. We need a blank space, so let's move them aside. I simply drag them aside with the help of the slab. And for this job, we are going to use opening tool. Once we have placed an opening, we are going to change its sizes and settings. It's very easy, we are just going to click these edges and click this offset. With the help of this, we will be able to change the width and height. Also, you can directly input your values. I input 220. Now, here we have our opening. We are going to place a curtain wall inside this opening. From the left point to the right point, we will create a simple curtain wall and after that we will change the height according to our top of the opening. Floor plan is not correct, let's fix it. We will change cut symbol and uncut symbol to no symbol in order to see a clearer floor plan. To change the site, we will hit P in order to push inside into the opening. We will change the boundary preferences. We will click this inside boundary. There we go. In the 3D window, we will see different type of panels. We are going to change them from the skin. At the first, we will reset the, all of the settings 
from here. After that, we will change the fixed sizes and let's do the same for the rows. Then we will change the height and width values. This is going to be 220 and this is going to be 1 meters for now. After that, we will place our frames. We can choose Malian frame or transom frame. It's up to you. You can just leave the rest as is. There we go. Here we have created our first part. Let's move forward. Let's change our Malian frame sizes. Let's make them more polite and narrow. Therefore, I'm going to input there 5 cm. Let's do the same for the boundary frames. Let's click OK. Glass is barely visible, so let's change its color. Actually, there is no glass there. Therefore, we are going to assign a glass from the main panel. Just like this. After that, we will change the panel color. Don't forget, we have changed the main panel settings. Our frames are not visible as we desired, so let's fix them too. We will fix the Malian frame settings. By the way, you can see the differences between the Malian frame and transom frame. Let's try these settings. They are still not visible. Let's try different settings. I'm just going to increase this value and reduce this one. There we go. Now we can see our frames. Let's do the same for the boundary frame. Alright, this is a basic fixed glass. Let's add a sliding door inside. But before that, I want to increase the width of the window. So I'm going to click this point and input here 100. Then I'll change the other window's positions. We will just click this opening and offset its edge. And then here you can see our frame is outside. If you want to place it to more inside, you will change the settings. You will just change this to panel center settings. Maybe 10 centimeters. There we go. Now we can add our sliding door. To do it, we will delete this frame between these two panels. And after that, we will change the main panel settings. From the member type, we will select a sliding door. As you can see, we have way more options. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to inspect all of them. Therefore, we are going to focus our sliding door. This is how you can add a sliding door inside a curtain wall panel. And of course, we can change its settings like we always did before. We will change the detail level to full and we will change the leaf frame width. This must be narrow and elegant like this. And after that, let's check out other settings quickly. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it will be a good idea to change the width of this door. To do it, we will change this frame position. Let's move 50 cm to left and also 50 cm to right. There we go. This is going to be 25 cm because it's the half of the 50. Once we have done that, we are going to change the color of the window. It's not visible right now. I want to do that as blue as we did before by activating these override surfaces. And these were how you can add folded doors, sliding doors, how you can change and manipulate them in ArchiCAD. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, have a nice day, bye. And if you are serious about learning ArchiCAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day, bye.